In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of chocolate text effect. But uh, I was inspired to make this tutorial by a Photoshop tutorial, which you can uh, see in the description. I'll leave a link to the original there. Anyway, um, I apologize for last week's kind of bad tutorial. Uh, my last tutorial wasn't that good. Anyway, uh, by the way, if you'd like to see some other exclusive tutorials or some tutorials that I didn't think were good enough for my YouTube channel, uh, head over to my website, thegraphicsbox.com, and I'll be uploading all of them um, onto there. So you can view any exclusive ones that I made for my old website, and I reposted them on that website. And then I have a few tutorials that I didn't think were really good enough, so uh, I'll post those there. So go ahead and open up a new image. And for your background, I would recommend using this color. Um, one for the HTML notation is 140B07. And then just fill in your background with that using your bucket fill tool. And then go ahead and create a new layer. And you can do that by going to Layer, New Layer, or in your Layers dialog. Uh, you can go down here and press the new page icon, or the little page icon, and it will open up a new layer. Uh, and then grab your paintbrush tool and get a pretty fuzzy brush. Um, it doesn't, and then get this color. Um, the HTML notation of this color is 371B0F, and then select OK. And then just um, on this new layer, use your paintbrush and just click once, and that's good. And then go to Layer, Auto Crop Layer. And then grab your Scale tool, which is this icon right here. And just click on the layer and drag out the two sides using this. Drag out the two sides like that. And then drag out the top. And we just want to give it a nice, we want it to be give it a nice highlight kind of thing. And then when you're satisfied, just click Scale. Now go ahead and grab your text tool. Um, color doesn't really matter. Um, the font I'm using is Myriad Pro Bold, and the size is 100. And I recommend typing in all caps. And this, um, this text effect doesn't really work too well with uh, the skinnier fonts, so I recommend choosing a pretty heavy font. Then you can go ahead and, if you want to align your text to the middle of the image, grab your alignment tool, which is a square with the uh, arrows pointing out of it, and then click on the layer, and then select align center of target, and then align middle of target. And then that just centers your, image, uh, your text. Then grab your blend or gradient tool, and then change your foreground color to, that's fine, um, I think this color is good. Uh, the HTML notation is 371B0E, and you might want to pause the video and grab that color. And then for your uh, background color, choose 1E0F08. And then create another new layer, and um, again, to create a new layer, just press the page icon at the in your layers dialog. Now go back to your uh, text layer that you typed whatever you wanted to right there. Right click on it and then select alpha to selection. Then go back to your new layer and just take the gradient tool and stroke down once like that. And then go to select none. Now um, you can go ahead and delete your original text layer if you like. Or you can keep it, whatever. Um, but now on your this layer that um, you just applied the gradient to, go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. And for your offset X and Y, put 2, Blur Radius 1, Color of Black, and Opacity 45. And uncheck Allow Resizing. You can adjust this a little if you'd like. Now, uh, go back to make sure you're on that text layer again. Well, it's not a text layer, but um, 
the layer you applied the gradient to. And go to, um, you will need to download a script foo for this. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download it from. Um, and then to install it, there are a few good tutorials out there. Um, just Google um, how to install script foos into GIMP and you could probably find one. And I'm pretty sure that um, the link I'm giving you will include a little tutorial on how to install it. So, and if you have any questions, just Google it. Um, and then so go under script foo, layer effects, bevel, and emboss. And for style, select inner bevel, depth 3, direction down, size 2, soften 1. Um, and then um, I think all these, oh, altitude 53, highlight opacity on 100, shadow opacity on 65.9 or around there. doesn't have to be exact. Um, so something like this. Um, not all of them are default, so you will have to change a few of them. Uh, so you might want to go ahead and pause the video and enter in all these settings. Um, then select OK. And there you go. That is your text, that is your chocolate text effect. Um, and I apologize I haven't had any different tutorials recently. Um, I've done a lot of text effects tutorials lately. Um, I'm going to work on a few photo manipulation tutorials maybe, I don't know thinking about that um, and I might have um, a tutorial for like a big kind of project since I've been doing these kind of simple tutorials anyway um, I hope you like this tutorial and um, that's about it